Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you my Lego Mindstorms EB3 kit. As you can see, the box is already showing. So I built the Reptar and I, I'll show you it right now. Here it goes. It's acting a little bit mean to the box. So I really like the Mindstorms EB3 kit because it can do more stuff than the NXT. <laughs> and I also like the lights. Because look at this. Look at this. No lights. No, nothing. Just sideway turn off, back, and that's it. So, um. Basically, um. Here's the remote. This is a remote. Oh, well, uh, well, this is a remote, not that. Anyways, the reason why I didn't like it, um, um, the remote alone is because, um, you always have to switch the modes to in order for you to make it turn. For example, you have to switch number two to go to turn, but you have to switch to number one to get it actually go straight. Um so um but the cool fact about the Lego Mindstorms E V three kit is that it actually the mind this see the Mindstorms NXT only has three motor ports. But the EB3 version has four motor ports, which you can actually not that good see. The bad, the bad thing about the Mindstorms is that it includes only three sensors and three motors. I mean, who does that? Who do that? So, um, I actually kind of like... This box, this set is recommended for age ten and up, and I prefer it, and I think it's a really great toy. So please subscribe, like, and please, um, please don't make fun of my voice because um, I have a really bad voice. Ciao.